Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on EFT automation. In this uh, video, we will look at uh, output values. Output values are nothing but those values that we capture off of our application at the runtime. Meaning as you are, as a script is testing or running your script, going through the application, through the workflows that you recorded, it would capture the desired values the way you you set it up you know uh, through output values there are different kinds of output values uh, let me show that to you real quick we have a you know standard output value we will add a standard output value on a, an object and you can uh, output any of the properties that you have to see say for example on text box you can on the text box you would have like height weight if it's enabled or not and you have some sort of text in there so you can you know most likely you will be interested in the text and sometimes maybe the height and width as well the text output value say for example you have a description on your website or on a screen and you know you can make sure that certain text is exactly at certain location you can do all you can take you can pick the whole text in there say for example disclaimer or you can you know add you know pick a specific word and text area as I said you know text area database you can you know get the value from the database and you can do the same thing from XML and you know from a file so let me go ahead and run a basic recording and in the, during the process I'll show you the method of adding output values. Uh, I'm going to use the script 004. It has one action in it and all it has is a step to start the application. I'll go ahead and add a new action and we'll use this action to record the activity. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, make sure that we have the application running okay it's perfectly ready let me go ahead and record it so I'll enter user ID and password and let us add some output values here let's say I want to capture the OK text off of this button Okay, uh, let's use this drop down here. It's a standard output value. Click on that button, click OK there, and then here are the properties of this particular object, which is the OK button that UFT had captured or you know, UFT is seeing it. Now of all this, you know, the text property this uh, has the pro text of this particular object if you were to do the same thing on the whole you know screen then it would take this as the text and I'll show that to you so here for this button okay and next I will do a standard output value you know I'll just click on that uh, you know form there that's a dialog box and the text as you can see it is login output value what it does is it grabs the text off of this form say for example this login form it'll, it'll grab this and output to your runtime data sheet runtime data sheet is a data sheet that's inside the results window same thing will happen the ok button will capture the ok text off of this button let's say tomorrow they change this ok to login if they put login on this button it'll capture the login it will not check whether it is right or wrong it'll just grab that and put it there Probably this might not make much sense for these properties, but if we go to the next screen, it kind of makes more sense. Say, for example, you want to um, you know capture the output value here, 
and you want to let's say you want to display a message if it is over you know certain value you can do that with simple logic but now I'll show you how you can actually grab the value here let me go ahead and pretend as if I'm making a reservation Paris to here pick a flight test user as you can see for one ticket it's 168 dollars and 47 cents I will change this to five tickets and you can see that the value changed to eight hundred and forty six dollars thirty five cents for the total and let's say we want to capture all these three values and these are objects so we'll, we'll still use a start output click on that object okay that and we'll accept or you mean to say we'll check the text property and by default all these values go into the global sheet and for now we'll, we are okay with it we'll accept that I'll go ahead and <coughs> sorry go ahead and add uh, the rest of the output values for those three properties or three uh, objects and the last one is 842.35 the text property of that object okay now we have all of these uh, I'll go ahead and um, close the application so that I have that step within the recording I'll, I'll close this and these okay now let's look at it so this okay so we have the OK button here that's where we clicked but prior to clicking the OK button we added these two output values so right there and then uh, we have three output values here so let's go ahead and look at the global sheet real quick so the global sheet has um, actually it has multiple values here because I had something from the last recording uh, we know that we were capturing these three okay and login and these are not required I'll just go ahead and delete it and these are not related to this test case okay so we have these five uh, output values let's go ahead and confirm that so login okay price tickets and total and when you do go to login it is login underscore that piece which is here and the ok is ok text output one which is this price that's there tickets uh, tickets ok I messed it up so I'm gonna what I'll do is oh it is there that's a total number of tickets that's where we had the problem oh it is there too so yeah we have no issue perfect we have all matching things so as you add your um, output values so while you're recording and then we picked uh, or we selected global sheet which was you know, by default and they get added here so we have the output uh, objects here and these were recorded or captured uh, during the design time primarily so this is called the design data sheet and the uh, runtime data sheet is what you see in the results I mean that's the sheet that is used while running let's go ahead and run the script real quick Go ahead and view the run results. And within the run results, it's in the data tab here. And these are the values it captured. I mean, you know, they're kind of same as you can see, but uh, you might be thinking it might have just took a copy and pasted it here during the runtime. Let's go test it. Let's change this to 15. That means the total value should be more than 842 because for five tickets it was 842 but for 15 it should be three times this 
let me go ahead and run now and see what we have in our uh, results after it finishes running. So it was 2500 and something odd. Let's go to run results. And we'll click on the data tab and you'll see. See, I mean, this proves that it actually captures the value as it, uh, you know, as it is running uh, or running the test case. So that's how you add and you know validate uh, the output values. I mean, we we capture output values more so that we can use it uh, down the line within the test case. And maybe you could take this and validate it if it is more than a certain value. Or maybe you could do, say, for example, if you know it's five tickets, five times this is this. But what if the calculation is wrong? Let's say. What if it had displayed $200 when you did this on the screen, which is incorrect because five times this should be almost like somewhere, we just saw him, around $800. So you can do a little math and whatever you get, and you could compare with this and adding some logic in there. So that's how we can you know, use to validate few data as we go through the test case. So next we will, uh, you know what, before I jump into the other, uh, output uh, value types. Let me show you how you can add some uh, basic checkpoints after the recording as well. Let's go into the active screen. Let's say on the screen you want to add a checkpoint uh, for this whole form, capture this uh, flight reservation. Just right click there, do insert output value. You'll get the whole pink border on the form. And then you can do text and it captures the text, which is this the, for the form. And let's say here there's a pink bar, it knows you want to output that value as well. Active text. Uh, sorry, not active text, but you know, um, what was that? It's a masked object. Yeah, masked uh, object. Let's say only, uh, we can capture not the color, but the date itself. Default text. Okay. So that's how you add checkpoints using, you know, after the recording using the active screen. Say, for example, you want to add a bitmap checkpoint. Oh, that's a bitmap checkpoint, uh, not an output. So, yeah, we are, we are uh, in this video, we are concentrating on output values. So, okay, now let's move on to the other uh, output values.